हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू फार्मा केम इन साइट्स टूडे टॉपिक इज रेसिडू ऑन इग्निशन आर ओ आई और सल्फेट डैश इन दिस वीडियो यू विल गेट टू नो रेसिडू ऑन इग्निशन प्रोसीजर अलॉन्ग विथ कैलकुलेशन एंड एग्जाम्पल एंड ऑल्सो इन द एंड देर आर फ्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर फॉर योर नॉलेज सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट इट रेसिडू ऑन इग्निशन यूएसपी चैप्टर इज टू एट वन The residue on ignition or sulfated ash test utilizes the procedure to measure the amount of residual substance not volatilized from a sample when the sample is ignited in the presence of sulfuric acid. This test is usually used for determining the content of inorganic impurities in an organic substance. Now let us see the apparatus and equipment required for residue on ignition ROI test. First is muffle furnace. It is used for igniting your sample at a very high temperature that is 600 degrees Celsius. Second one is crucible. It is a sample holder which holds your sample during charring as well as ignition purpose. Third is desiccator. it is used to cool your crucible under control environment fourth is tong it will help you to handle your hot crucible while keeping it in a desiccator fifth is hot plate it is used for charring your sample before keeping the crucible in a muffled furnace for ignition in case you don't have a hot plate you can also use incinerator now let us see the procedure first is conditioning of crucible ignite a suitable crucible example silica platinum coke or porcelain according to your requirement you can take any suitable crucible and ignite at 600 degrees celsius in a muffled furnace for 30 minutes After that allow the crucible to cool in a desiccator over silica gel for 30 minutes and then weigh it has W1 Second is procedure for sample ignition place 1 g of the sample or as per monograph in the same crucible and weigh has W2 Moisten the sample with 1 ml of sulfuric acid and heat gently at low temperature as practicable on a hot plate until the sample is thoroughly charred. Again moisten this charred sample with 1 ml of sulfuric acid and heat gently until white fumes are no longer evolved. Then ignite this crucible at 600 degrees Celsius in a muffled furnace for 3 hours. After that remove the crucible from muffled furnace with the help of a tong and cap for cooling in a desiccator and weigh it as W3 g Repeat the moistening with sulfuric acid and ignition as described previously for 30 minute Cool it and note the weight as W4 g Take a note here the difference between two consecutive readings between w3 and w4 should not be more than 0.5 mg now let us see the calculation weight of empty crucible is equal to w1 g weight of crucible plus sample is equal to w2 g so weight of sample will be w2 minus w1 g weight of crucible plus sample after ignition at 600 degrees celsius for 3 hours is equal to w3 g weight of crucible plus sample after additional ignition at 600 degrees celsius for 30 minute is equal to w4 g so weight of residue will be w4 minus w1 g so this is the formula for calculating percentage of roi percentage roi is equal to w4 minus w1 divided by w2 minus w1 into 100 which is nothing but percentage roi is equal to weight of residue divided by weight of sample into 100 now let us understand with an example 
weight of empty crucible is equal to W1 that is equal to 80.0000 gram. Weight of crucible plus sample is equal to W2 that is equal to 81.0000 gram. After ignition, weight of crucible plus sample at 600 degrees Celsius for 3 hours is equal to W3 is equal to 80.0070 gram. And weight of crucible plus sample after additional ignition at 600 degree Celsius for 30 minutes is equal to W4 that is equal to 80.0060 gram. You can see the difference between W3 and W4 is not more than 0.5 mg. You can calculate. So, according to formula, percentage ROI is equal to W4 minus W1 divided by W2 minus W1 into 100. So by putting the values W4 is 80.0060 minus W1 that is 80.0000 divided by W2 that is 81.0000 minus W1 that is 80.0000 into 100. So by calculating this we get percentage ROI is equal to 0.06 percentage. Now let us see some common question and answers on the residue on ignition ROI. First question, what is USP general chapter for residue on ignition ROI? USP general chapter for residue on ignition ROI is 281. Next question, why sulfuric acid is used in residue on ignition? So answer is, sulfuric acid is added before heating. To facilitate, to facilitate the destruction of organic matter and to fix certain metals as their sulfate salts to prevent volatilization. Next question, what is the difference between residue on ignition and sulfate ash? Some people have uh, confusion about this question. So, there is no difference between the procedure. Both are same. In United States Pharmacopoeia, in USP, it is called as residue on ignition ROI. And in Indian Pharmacopoeia IP, it is called as sulfated as. Both are used for the determination of content of inorganic impurity in an organic substance. So, I hope you like this video. Thank you. Please like, share and subscribe my videos and also show your support in the comment section. And please help us to grow our channel. In case you have any topic to suggest, so comment in the comment section. I will try to cover it. Thank you. Bye.